All right, people, haven't done a video in a while, <clears throat> but I want to give an update. And Julie's walking in right when I started a video. I have been working on the evil garage. I have space. I have freaking space to work. Uh, Julie helped me immensely uh, in kind of purging our giant horde of, of things and stuff. So now it's all organized. We have an aisle, or we can, you can't see it from here, but there's an aisle you can walk through down there to get through all to all the things on that side wall, which are just like, you know, different things we need to get to. Uh, and then this is the new workshop area. So uh, got some recycling here, but I ended up getting this new workbench. I haven't showed you guys this new workbench. It is super awesome. I am, so I bought it from a guy that had already made it. So I did not build this, but I'm definitely going to alter it for Halloween-ish things and stuff that I will be building um, for either ourselves or for the, the Halloween business. But it's super cool. So this empty space here houses this rollout table saw. So I have my table saw there. The bench when I bought it came with this table saw. Um, it has all these different storage things on the side, which is super cool to store different things. He actually had this side facing out, right, for his kids. He had small kids, and so all this was, was hidden towards the wall, right? I face it out so I can actually get to it because I don't have kids that are going to come out here and grab stuff. So uh, this actually goes back towards the wall. Uh, I'm going to probably change it to where these are doors that open so I can open it and get to the things that are in here without having to roll this out. But it's super cool because I'm actually going to use this table saw for the first time today. And so what's cool is, um, so I've got the track that goes here and then this slides and I've got my track that goes here. And so that's why there's this slot. And then this workbench also comes with a feeder table that goes on the end of this, which is this other section that also rolls out. So you pull up the, the feet and you roll it out. I can't do it with one hand. Anyway, I just got these four handles that I'm going to add. Like I said, I'm going to be changing some things to make it useful for us. So I can easily pull this out. And then I'm trying to get my computer screen, laptop kind of area. We redid this. I painted, trying to get it to look kind of cool in here. Redid my pegboard. I just got another pegboard today that's gonna go on the front of this. This is where I keep all my power tools. Um, went and bought me some things that been needing for a while some squares some digital squares some countersink bits you name it man i'm i'm so professional and the big thing is my new laser which i think i did a post i did a couple of posts about the laser um but today i went and bought wood to build an enclosure uh, i also need to install the uh extension rails to make this double the width so it'll be twice this width thus the two honeycombs uh, so i kind of put this up here just to figure out the spacing and what i wanted to do and so gonna get the wood out of the car gonna get this other feeder table out put it on the table saw and get to cutting for my enclosure that's really my main goal today but i just kind of wanted to share how the the uh the haunted, I put this cool shelf up here. So I'm gonna do like one of each type skull that I got from Nightmare Makers um, and kind of display it up here. It's kind of fun to have a nice display area. I'll probably do like a Steve's Haunted Props logo there, which would be kind of cool. And then check these out, guys. Cut these out on the laser. Little monster boxes. We actually sold some of these at the event that we just went to. They were a pretty big hit. We only took about five of them. Uh, this is the very first one I made, so I, I want to keep it. So, 
kind of kind of fun. So, oh, look at that cuteness burned on the laser. All right, cool, man. I'm going to be quiet now, and I'm going to start cutting the sides for the laser. Uh, I'm going to probably remove um, this. He had sheetrock. Um, he, like I said, he had small kids. So this was his table saw setup, which is where, you know, it goes down for a table saw. I will definitely use that. I don't know if this is going to interfere with it. It probably will. I can always have my boards go that way because obviously I've got all this space. You know, I'm never going to cut a board probably longer than to come way over here. So, um, I, I can have my table saw here when I need it, but I'm going to store it under there for now. This is going to be dust collection. So I'm going to probably get me like a rigid uh, shop back for under here. I'm going to do some dust collection uh, under here at some point. Um, just because I don't want the dust getting to the laser. And that's also another reason I'm doing the enclosure, which that'll cut off most of the dust. So, but I'm excited to get some, some things done with the laser. Has anyone ever cut styrofoam with a laser? I'm curious if I'm going to be able to do some epitaphs with this laser. I've never seen anybody do that. Do I have anything over here that we made with the laser? Not really. I think we sold the majority of it. Oh, I did this. This was like a little test thing that I did on this little pumpkin guy. And then I did the logo recently so there it is Stu's haunted props all right i'm gonna get this set up run me an extension cord out there um i'll show you later on i've got my little i've got my small roby bandsaw right here i use this to help cut off skulls uh and trim up those i ended up getting me a new cool tool that's gonna go right here next to it and i will maybe show you guys that later it's super cool and then here's my trash. I got my little rollout roll out trash can, which is cool. And then here's my X-Tool accessories. Um, I've got a future plans for my RA2, which is my rotary tool. So I can do tumblers uh, and glasses and engrave. Uh, I've got a plan for that. Since I've got this thickness here, I've got a little room to go underneath. I'm going to cut this out i'm gonna make this flush here and i'm gonna make it to where i can put my ra2 2 rotary tool down underneath this bed uh and when i need to use it i'll just pull this out pull pull the honeycomb out pull the wood out and my ra2 will already be down there ready to um, do a tumbler or a mug or a cup whatever whatever i need to do on the rotary tool so that's the plan stan All right, so I've got two sides and the back. <clears throat> Again, I'm not doing a bottom for it because this is te technically going to be the bottom. This is just going to sit over the top of this area, which is kind of nice because if I need to just lift it up, I can leave the X-Tool in place. Um, <clears throat> today, I'm not going to do the thing I was talking about where I create the thing on the bottom. I'm just going to focus on getting the enclosure done. I do need to cut an exhaust port over here because I do plan. The whole reason for the enclosure is also because of the smoke that's generated and the fumes that's generated from this. <sighs> Not good, guys. Like, it literally fills this entire garage up. Um, I have this door, obviously, and then I have a side door over there. And I can open that up, and it, it keeps it pretty nice and cleared out. But when it's cold, like last week, yeah, didn't want to open the doors. So, and again, rainy today. That's why I went ahead and threw this canopy up. And it wasn't rainy when I put it up, but I'm glad I did because now it just started raining again. Right, Maudy Mod. How you doing, girl? All right, guys, man, I'm just moving along and I keep forgetting to do updates, but look at it. Check it out. It's getting there. Um, this... The back and the sides and the top are all glued and screwed. I just cut this piece here. I'm thinking about not 
attaching this piece uh, where I could like pop this out if I need to for if I need to like slide something in and out because this post won't be here um, this will just be one solid rail and the other post will be over here and I could easily slide in and out my honeycombs or slide in uh, a big piece of wood versus trying to move this thing around I don't know just think thinking about it I'm trying to figure that out I might hinge it to so there's gonna be another solid piece that goes up here it's it's gonna be two foot tall all the way to the top it's gonna be a, a 12 inch by 24 inch uh, plexi clear plexi or orange clear plexi that's laser glass is gonna be here so I might do it where this can hinge like boom pop up like that if I need to and then hinge back down maybe maybe that'd be kind of cool possibly maybe I don't know all right so now I'm gonna I gotta cut everything so these are cut so these go here like like this like this and then uh, there's gonna be another piece up top that comes all the way out to the edge here that's the only piece I got to cut and then the front piece and this will hinge whoop, like that if when I need to open it and look inside or pull put something inside so um, I'm copying the uh, Clactical enclosure from the Clack Shack. Uh, he built it for just the single laser. Um, I, he hasn't done one for a double wide with the extension cables. So the baby, I'm videoing. Hey, baby, look, it's the baby Wolfas taking a walk. Where are you Wolfies, going, Wolfas? Wolfies. Wolfie, come look at me. She's running. She's like, nah. All right, I'll come see you, Wolfies. Wolfas. Wolfies. Wolfies. Look at that booty. The little booty. Not that booty. That booty too, but look at that little furry booty. Bye, Wolfie. Okay, Bye, Julie. It's daddy. It's daddy. She gets weirded out outside for some reason. Look at oh, that mane. Well, her mane does look huge right now. No, look at the deities. Baby Wolfies. Look at the deities. Wild woman. All right. There's the there's your kitty for you. The kitty kitty view. So, all right, I'm gonna keep going. I should be able to finish this day today. Well, I don't know about cutting out the thing for the thing and the thing and the vent thing and all those thingy things. But I've actually got way more done today than I thought I would. So it's looking pretty good. All right, people. It's a little time later and I'm working on the lid cover. So now you guys can kind of tell how this is gonna look. So this is gonna be a, a solid piece in here, but it's gonna have a this um, viewing window cut out so I could look inside. It's gonna have a handle here so I can lift this up. So once I put this front on, this will lift up like that. Whoop, whoop, pretty cool. And then I have these uh, that I'll put here and here and then these springs so when it opens the pressure of the spring keeps it from falling down so so it's going to go up and it'll stay open stay open like that with the spring and then when I'm ready to close it I just grab it Close it back up. This is looking so sweet. Okay, people, it's much, much, much time later. And man, it went from being like hot earlier to now like super cold. But look, I just put the uh, laser safe plexi in. It's dirty. I just got my uh, shop light in there just to kind of light it up on the inside. Look at that. I can get some LEDs for it. 
Got this bad boy all built today. Need to get a handle on it. You open that up. You can get to my work surface. And then um, I was able to do kind of like I said here, I just put one screw in here. This thing doesn't need to be like airtight. Actually, the um, air exhaust works better if there's some inlet flow of air. So I may even cut some slits in here. I've seen people do that. But like I was saying before, I wanted to get to that. So I just hinged this with the two screws. So now I could get in there because I'm actually gonna add another foot to this. Uh, so this will be higher. And so now I could just lift that up if I want to slide in or slide out a honeycomb. You just fold it down. Look at that. I still gotta install the hooks and the little spring mechanism. But she's awesome. She looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. So... There it is. Until next time. Get your haunt on and your laser on.